I recently interviewed Pecker Clark, the creator of the open source test automation tool, the Robot Framework. Here are the top seven things he revealed in the interview. To hear the full interview, make sure to click on the link below. The Robot Framework was created as part of Pecker's master's thesis in 2005. After that, he went on to work for Nokia, where he developed the framework for a few years, and then they actually open sourced it in 2008. What's really great about the robot framework is that it has many test libraries and other tools that you can use. So of course you can use the Selenium WebDriver library, and that's probably the most common one. But what's really great is you can also use other external test libraries to test things like FTP, MongoDB, Android, Appium, all types of different libraries. So the framework doesn't lock you in just to web-based automation. So if you work for a large enterprise, many times you need, you need to test things other than web pages. And by using the robot framework, you can use the same framework for multiple technologies. If you are familiar with vendor-based tools like Quick Test Professional, you're probably familiar with the keyword-driven approach. And so the robot framework uses a keyword-driven approach that makes tests really readable and easy to create. The robot framework is really extensible and you can really use its API to do all types of integrations with the robot framework if it's not already available to you. The robot framework is also Python based, so it's easy to program in, but you can also use JThon, which is Java based, or I am Python, which is .NET based. So when I asked Pecker, hey, what's the easiest way to get started with the robot framework? He recommends that you go to the robotframework.org. It has lots of introductions there, a lot of samples, and that's where all the libraries live. Also, there's a lot of different choices you can use for an editor for robot framework. The best known is probably Ride, which is a standalone robot framework editor. It was designed solely for editing the robot framework test data, but it's not for programming. So if you do the programming piece of the automation, uh, there's a bunch of pr different plugins you can use like PyCharm, Eclipse, it works with IntelliJ, and also it works with many of the programmer text-based tools like Notepad++, TextMate, Sublime Text, and so on. So I always ask my guests on Test Talks, let us know one piece of actionable advice, and Pekka's actionable advice was that for creating an automated test, you want to make your test cases as easy to understand as possible. And this is actually a great tip. It may seem like common sense, but a lot of people start using programming type names when you can really help the maintainability of your test scripts by naming things, what they represent. So if someone new to the team starting, you don't need to do a whole bunch of training, but just by looking at the way you name things, they can pick things up. And so really the key features of the robot framework, if you're looking for a framework, is that it really was created for testers by testers. And so that's a big difference between other tools out there. Also, it's keyword driven based. So if you're used to vendor based tools like UFT, QTP, many testers would already be familiar with this type of approach. And it's also open source, so you don't have to pay for it. And it does more than web based automation. So if you're looking for a test automation framework, I highly recommend you check out the robot framework. To hear the full interview with Packer Clock, make sure to head on over to testtalks.com forward slash 91.